Good morning. Here is the lecture for Module 2, and the module title is A Review and Critique of Classic Biological Papers, or Classic Papers in Biology. So we're going to uh, review a couple of biological papers here. Uh, the purpose of this lecture, or the student learning outcomes, when you complete this lecture, you should be come familiar with reading and understanding how to uh, access journals, how to read them, critique them, and also understand the parts. And then uh, the overall student learning objective is to become familiar with the most cited and popular papers in biology. And we're going to do this uh, type of module exercise uh, several times throughout the semester. Uh, keep in mind that um, as we get into these critiques and the reviews that to become more rigorous, but this particular your first review here is going to be quite simple uh, and, and rather straightforward. So simply, um, your assignment uh, is down here, but the goal of this opportunity is to give you an opportunity to apply whatever you've learned uh, in this course and other courses and evaluate and research papers. Um, so let me get down to it. First you must read the uh, article that I have posted on Blackboard, how to read a scientific journal, um, how to critique an article. So you go through and read that article first and you can find uh, that here. I'll show you just where to find it. I have posted this article on Blackboard and this article here is how to seriously read a scientific paper. So I'd like for you to read through this article actually before starting your uh, module exercise. It gives you uh, input in terms of what to look for, what to expect, the different parts of an article, what type of information is involved or included in the different parts of uh, most journal articles. So you read that paper and then once you do that, um, there is an Excel file there that I have included the most cited papers in biology. What I mean the most cited, that means these are very popular papers. They are cited very frequently in many journal articles. Now I put together a list for you uh, here in this Excel file. And so in this Excel file you see you have um, you have authors, you have the title of the uh, page. Let me kind of scoot over here so you can see what I'm talking about. You have the authors, and these are the authors associated with the journal article. There's the title of the journal article. There's also a column of the title of the journals, and you see there are multiple types of journals, and uh, um, you should see um, also the volume, page, the years published, and also the number of times cited. So for exa example, this particular article here on row 4 um, by Bradford has been cited over 190,000 times. So that tells you it's a very popular paper and typically those articles that are cited a lot mean that these are high impact journal articles that uh, people find them um, um, that had a lot of good information and so what you have to do is kind of scan through these articles here. You go through the title and you pick a title that's that's interests you the most. So you kind of may have to expand column B just a little bit to take a look at the article. And then once you find an article, so let me take this article by uh, by Bradford, uh, Rapid and Sensitive Method for Quantification. And if you want to find this article, what I have provided for you over here in um, column I is a link to this particular article. So I'm right here. All I simply do is go in and cut and paste the hyperlink. I copy that and then I head over to the website and I put in the journal article. I just kind of paste the URL into the uh, browser and once you've done that, here is the article that comes up. 
so uh, some of these articles are free especially if you're on campus uh, or either you log in through the library on campus you get uh, these articles and you can download them for free and then once you select your article all you simply do is come back to the assignment here and um, you got you have to provide a summary of the paper and the summary is just a brief note so after you read the paper you provide a brief summary uh, of the article in your own words uh, don't copy and paste or try to rephrase again put this into your own words and so that is um, part one of uh, well the first thing that you'll can that you'll complete and then once you complete your summary you can do your summary at the end at the beginning or you can do it after you finish your questions uh, you are to answer these 10 questions for the, your journal article that you have selected so again you uh, write a summary and you also write these questions answers to these questions again these answers to the questions should be very thorough they should also be very complete uh, that's how you get the best grade uh, for this uh, so here it's this is the end of the lecture for module two best of luck